Hey guys, so the last couple of days I've been trying to figure out Facebook ads and this whole pixel thing. So it's been driving me nuts over the last couple of days. And the main problem is because Facebook has two types of, of pixels. One is like the old pixel and one is the new one. And although the old one should have been completely gone by now, it's still out there. So one of the things that we first do when we've got a question about something, we Google it. The problem is you're not often clear on whether or not you're reading about the old pixel or the new pixel and if the person has the right information on there. So anyway, I have installed the pixel on my site. I'm going to walk you through how to do it. And then I'm going to show you how to create a custom conversion because that was one of the big things I did not understand at all because of all the different information that was out there. So let me show you what we're going to do. If you have not set up a pixel yet, you can do that inside your ads manager. And you can go over to pixels and it will actually have you um, create what it is that you need to to do okay so it's it's really simple it's not hard work it's a couple of clicks and it's it's automatically gonna happen for you because there's only one pixel per account so you can see when we're in here in pixels we've got Facebook pixel and conversion tracking pixel old okay so the old one is gonna is what's gonna be phased out so make sure you're not doing anything in there because there's no sense in doing that when you're talking, when you're hearing Facebook talk about the Facebook pixel, um, they're talking about the new one. That's the actual name of this new pixel that's happening in there. Okay. Um, so once you've got that, you can come to this page. If you click on actions, you can either email it to somebody. If somebody else is going to set this up for you, you can also click on view and you'll be able to get the actual pixel. This does have to be installed on your site. Okay. You can see up here, they're showing you what to do. It basically has to go into your header file. So all you're going to do is you're going to click on here and copy this code. Then you're going to bring up an, uh, an FTP program. Okay. Don't get scared of that. It just basically gives you access into the back end of your website. So you can see on here, when we go in, it go into my root file for it. All we're going to do is click on, we're going to go through WP content. Then we're going to click on themes. You're going to find your theme here. Okay. Click on that one. Then we're going to go into framework. Then we'll go into views global and you'll find your header PHP document. Okay. Double click on that and it should open it and you can actually edit it right here. You can download it, make the changes, save it and re-upload it. I prefer just to do it here. So where you're going to put it is right after this, this head entrance. Okay. So I actually have a Google tag manager here and I'll show you about that in a little while. Um, I'll touch on it. I'm not going to go into it too deeply because it, it makes my head hurt too. Um, but this is, this is where you want, um, your code to go. So you would stick it right in here. Okay. So right after the head, we've got this little bit of, of um, code that's in there and you want it to go in here. Okay. They've got the commenting. So it makes it really easy to say, this is where the, where the tag is going to start. This is where the script is going to end. And that's what you're going to put in there. Okay. Save that. It'll automatically save up to your, your, um, your page and then you'll be set. And you can see when you're on the Facebook pixel page inside of your ad manager that this is when I installed it. I installed it at some point on the 19th and that's when it started tracking actual people going to my website. Okay. So you can test it in a couple of different ways. There's actually a Google Chrome, um, extension that you can put on. That's what I have on my site because I was extra nervous about it and I wasn't quite sure. Um, and what happens with that is that when I go on to my website, the little thing in my corner turns blue and I can click on that and see what's being recorded. But you can also do it by once you've got it installed and saved, go to your website, then come back to this page, make sure that this, this thing has gone up at some point. It should say one now, right? So that's how you're going to know that it's going to happen. So this new pixel is, is just all about having one piece of code and that is it. So you put it in that one spot. And if that's nothing more than any, if you never do anything more than that, you're, you're off to a good start, but we do want to talk about custom conversions. So I'm going to get into that. Let me talk real quick about the Google tag manager. So what that is, is if you have a team, if you've got a larger team, especially you can create this account inside of Google tag manager. And it basically allows you to put scripts like your Google, um, your Google analytics script. It can put your Facebook pixel script. It basically gives people the, uh, the ability to fire scripts and tags and different things 
on the website without actually going into the FTP like it did. So it still makes my head hurt, like I said, so I'm not going to go into it in this video. Maybe I'll do a post and a video on it when I kind of play around with it a little bit more. Um, but that's, that's what you were seeing on that screen when we looked in there. So let's get back to the custom conversions. So a couple of notes. Number one, at this point, you can only have 25 of them on your account and you can't delete them. So if you make like 20 mistakes, you've now lost the ability to have 20 of those custom conversions in there. I don't know why Facebook did it, haven't looked into it, but just know that you can only have 25 and you cannot delete them, nor can you change the URL that's associated with them. You can change the name of them, but you can't change the function and what's happening and you can't delete them. So make sure what you're doing is the right thing. Okay, so, all we have to do is click over here where it says create conversion, okay? So we've got two options, standard events and, and create custom conversion. We're going to do the custom conversion, okay? So let me explain a little bit what this means. Right now, this Facebook pixel is tracking people who land on my website, but it doesn't really tell me anything, especially when it comes to my ads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this custom conversion and basically what's going to happen is Facebook's going to do all this fancy stuff in the background and at the end of the day it's going to tell me somebody saw this particular ad, they went to your website and they opted in. Okay, because it doesn't do you any good to have any Facebook advertisement, any advertisement, if you're not getting some kind of result. For me, the results that I want to have right now is having people opting in to my email list. So this custom conversion is going to be all about getting people to opt into that main, you, the main opt-in that I have. So we create a custom conversion by clicking on create conversion. So see, it's got your pixel here. Don't have to do anything more about it. We're going to change URL contains to equals. And then we're going to put the actual thank you page. Okay. So don't put your landing page or anything else, not your sales page. You want the thank you page. So the page people will see your, your website, they opt in and then they land on a thank you page. That's the page you want to put that tells Facebook that they did some kind of action. Okay. So we're going to put in case study. Thank you. And I'm just going to double check to make sure because like I said, we don't want to screw this up. So this is, this is the page when people opt in, this is where they land afterwards, right? So I want to make sure, just like I told you guys that I am doing this the right way. So I'm going to just make sure that I've got the actual URL in here. So donmartinello.com, case study, thank you. Okay. So that's what is going to happen. Then we're going to choose a category and you can see all of the different things. So viewing content, searching, um, adding to wish list. Uh, purchases. So if you're if you're doing this on an actual purchase page, lead is the one that we're looking for when it comes to opt-in. So this is the one that I want you to do first off. If you do nothing else, do this one little conversion. Okay. So we're going to choose lead. Okay. So you can see this way they know that the rule that you're defining is going to be this is what happens for it. So make sure it says URL equals. Put in your thank you page after they've opted in and then choose lead, and then click next. Now you can give it an actual name, okay? This is the this is the one that you can change at any time, um, So, but you wanna make it descriptive so you know what the heck it is. So I'm just gonna make it really easy. Case study, thank you, okay? Now you can set conversions. This is more for when you are doing um, products. So if you have a product that you're selling for $10, you can have the conversion value on there as well. Okay, so, um, and then you can you can look and see, okay, well, if I spent $500 on ads trying to get somebody to um, buy my product that costs, you know, $27 to buy, we can see that conversion of how many people actually bought it. So when we add that conversion value in there, if you have 100 people that are going to complete this conversion, if you have the value of $27 in there, then it's gonna tell you, this is how much this ad, this created. And then you can look at your ad spend. So if you're spending $500 in ads, but you're only making $200, we've gotta talk, right? So you can set that up. For this particular one, we don't have a conversion value because all we want to do is get them to opt in. And that's all we have to do. Now we're going to hit create and boom, it's done. Okay, that is all that has to happen. So the Facebook pixel goes onto your site 
one time and one time only, then you can come in and you can create these custom conversions and tell it different things. So if you've got a webinar that you want to have registrations for and you are going to send ad traffic to a particular page, then you're going to create that custom conversion. You're going to set it up for the, the registrations. And then you can even, like I said, if you've got a product, you can assign a custom value to it so you can see what's happening for things. Am I spending too much on my ads and not making enough revenue? So anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. Once I saw and, and it had it explained to me, all these light bulbs just went off in my head. Keep it simple. Make sure you're doing it right the first time. Remember, you can only have 25 of these and you cannot delete them. You cannot change the URL. So if you decide, you know, two days later that you're going to change the URL for your thank you page, you're down one conversion. Okay, so I want everybody to set this thing up on your website. Then I want you to make sure you have an opt in and I want you to set up your very first conversion so that you can start tracking how your ads are working and what's happening. Okay, so hopefully this helped you guys out as much as it helped me. If you have any questions, let me know.